Do you hear that? What? The metronome. The metronome? What's that? The metronome is a musical device that is used to keep time in music. The ticking that you hear sounds regularly to allow the musician to keep a consistent rhythm while playing music. That's so cool. Knowing this, can we start a rock band now? <laughs> we have to take it slow. First, we have to learn the musical notes. Today, I want to tell you about the quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. Each one of these notes also has a rest beat. We will talk about that too. Look, that is the quarter note, and it sounds last for one beat. We hear the quarter note between one tick and tick of the metronome. The first thing that we need is an instrument to make the quarter note sound. Do you want to try it out with an electric guitar? Let's go for it! Look how I'm going at the same rate as the metronome. I have a question. Why do we see that when there's no sound? That is the rest note for the quarter note. Rest notes are just as important as sound notes and also last a certain amount of time. Should we try it again? What did you think of the quarter note and its rest note? Now I'm going to explain the half note. This is the half note. It's the same shape as the quarter note. But if you look closely, you will see that the head is not black. How else are they different? Instead of being one beat like the quarter note, it has two beats. Basically, one half note equals two quarter notes. Let's take a look. So when we see that little hat, when there's complete silence, it's a half note rest, right? That's right, my friend. This one here is a whole note. It is equal to four quarter notes and two half notes. Wow, it lasts for a really long time. Yeah, it has four beats. Listen, get ready because I'm also going to show you the rest beat. Now I see that the rest note is the same as the half note rest, but inverted. That's it! Did you understand everything? Yep! The quarter note lasts one beat, and so does its rest. The half note lasts two beats, as well as its rest note. The whole note and its rest note last four beats. Great! Well done! Today I want to tell you about the quarter note, eighth note, and sixteenth note. Each one of these notes also has a rest beat. We will talk about that too. Look, this is the eighth note. It's like the quarter note, but it has a bracket. How else are they different? An eighth note is played half as long as the quarter note. That means one quarter note is equal to... Two eighth notes. That's it. When two eighth notes appear together, they can also be represented like this. Let's listen to it with my guitar. So that note that we see there, when we don't hear anything, is the eighth note's rest, right? That's right, my friend. And this one here is the sixteenth note, which is equal to half of an eighth note. And if we add up four sixteenth notes, it will be equal to a quarter note. The shape of the sixteenth note is like the eighth note, but it has another bracket. It's really short, right? Yeah, it's really short. Look here now! I get it now. I see that the 16th note rest is like the 8th note rest, but with another bracket. That's it! Did you get everything? Yeah! The quarter note and its rest last one beat. 
The eighth note and its rest last a half beat. The sixteenth note and its rest notes last a fourth of a beat. Well done! Hey friends! Today I'm going to teach you about string instruments. Are you coming along? The instruments in this family have different strings. When they are played, we hear different music notes. Do you want to see some string instruments? Let's go for it! The guitar is a six string instrument. It is used a lot in flamenco music. This is what it sounds like. The electric guitar is used a lot in rock music. Listen to its sound. Wow, I love how it sounds. The violin has four strings. The musician places it under his chin and it is played by strumming the strings with the bow. Have you heard how it sounds? It is really soft and nice. The cello is an instrument belonging to the violin family and it is also played with a bow. What a beautiful sound! The ukulele is a small guitar with four strings. In Hawaii, they play it with the hula dance. Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds great! That harp has up to 39 strings, and they produce sound when they are plucked by the musician's fingers. Silence. Shh. We are going to listen to how it sounds. The piano is the exception. Inside, it has 230 strings that are hit by hammers under the keys. It is one of the most important instruments and is also considered a percussion instrument. Wow, I want to learn how to play the piano like that. Let's review the instruments we learned about today. The guitar, the electric guitar, Violin, cello, ukulele, harp, piano, great! Hello friends, today I'm going to teach you about wind instruments. Do you want to know more about them? The instruments belonging to this family need air to make sounds. There are two types, the ones made of wood and the ones made of metal. Now let's have a look at them. The transverse flute can be made of gold or silver. Formerly, it was made of wood, so it belonged to the woodwind family of instruments. This is how it sounds. The clarinet is a woodwind instrument. Did you know it is used in a lot of jazz music? Wow! I love how it sounds! The trumpet is the smallest of the brass wind instruments. In the past, they used it at the palace to signal king and queen's arrivals. Attention! Attention! Here is its sound. The saxophone is a woodwind instrument. It is used in jazz because of its relaxing sound. Shh, listen to its sound. Ow. 
I want to learn to play the saxophone and become a jazz star. The trombone is a brass wind instrument. It has a rod that moves back and forth to change the note or the sound it makes. It sounds awesome! The tuba is the biggest of the brass wind instruments and it is the deepest as well. Silence! Shh! We are going to listen to how it sounds. It sounded really great! Let's review the instruments we learned about today. Transverse flute! Clarinet! Trumpet! Saxophone! Trombone! Tuba! Great! Hey friends, today I'm going to teach you about percussion instruments. Do you want to know more about them? To make sounds with instruments in this family, you have to hit them with your hands or drumsticks. They are all really unique and they come from very different countries. Do you want to see some percussion instruments? Let's take a look. The drum set includes the snare drum, bass drum, and cymbals. We see this instrument a lot in rock music. Let's have a listen. That was amazing! What an awesome beat! This is an instrument with a drum head that you hit to make different beats. The drum comes from African tribes. Listen to its sound! Wow! I love how it sounds! The xylophone is an instrument with plates. When you hit them, different notes are played. Have you ever heard it before? It was a very relaxing and nice sound. The cymbals are two flat metal circles that make a sound when they are hit together. Shh! We are going to listen to them now. The maracas are usually played in sets of two. They are used in music with a Latin beat. This instrument originated in Venezuela and Colombia. Ready for the maracas? They sound great! Triangle. This instrument has this name due to its shape. To make it sound right, we have to grab it with only two fingers. Listen to its sound. Let's review the percussion instruments we learned about today. Drum set. Drum. Xylophone. Cymbals. Maracas. Triangle. Fantastic! Did you like this video about musical instruments? Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the seal. And if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the squares.